Hello and welcome. Let's open up this box which contains the Huion Canvas Pro 20. Ah, the actual box is actually as big as this. Oof. This box. Heavy. All right, so let's just open it up. Thank you for choosing Huion. All right, so this feels like unboxing a screen like one of these two screens. All right. So let's just put this to the side. All right. And that was it for this box. Okay, so this is kind of a bipod. Hey. Okay, so with this you can adjust the angle. We're going to be mounting the screen on this later. We got a driver CD and the glove in there. And the manual. And now let's look at the... Ah, here it is from the rear side. And from the front. We can open it up over here. It feels resealable, but I'm not sure it is. Yep, yep, here we go. And let's see if we can get it out. Yep, we can get it out without cutting it open or anything. Now we just have to find the screws for this part. All right, so these are the pen nibs. These are the screws you're probably gonna need to attach this thing to that thing. This is the pen. Indeed. Here it is. This one does not need to be charged, which is very nice. One, two buttons, I think. That's it. Piece of cloth for cleaning the surface. USB cable with, uh, what are these called? Well, whatever, this is the side that goes into the tablet. We get a power adapter. And this is one of these mo modern monitor power pluggy thingies. This is the pen holder. It contains 10 more nibs and this metal ring in the middle that can be used to remove them. I very much like the design of the surface. Looks nice and donuty. Great. HDMI cable. Oh, there's a VGA cable even. Now this is a UK plug. And this is a, do they call them European plug? I guess so. And look at this tool. I'm just gonna grab these screws. So we can start setting it up. And let's set it up. Yeah, the tool works fine. Once you figure out that you have to pull this to fold it open. Mm -hmm. And the final one. All right. As you can see, we have the USB connection, the power supply connection, VGA or RGB cable connection, HDMI, 
And I think that's DisplayPort. Perfect moment to open this up. With the fancy glove. That's really nice. Oh, oh, there is no CD. It's just instructions on how to download, of course. And that's smart because uh, you need to get the latest version. You should not rely on what is provided, the driver that is provided. Get the latest one. So yeah, it says DP port, which is display port. All right, so let's plug in everything into the monitor first so we can turn it around so we can see so we can immediately see what is happening as we plug it in. That was the USB cable. This is the power adapter. The pretty massive HDMI cable. And that would be it. Okay, I did install it the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this tablet to this laptop, an Asus T100. I'm just going to test it like this first. I'm going to use this HDMI to micro HDMI adapter. So let's first turn on the power and let's see what happens now. Green light. Green light. And there are a few buttons here. This one says power, green light, white screen. I'm going to leave this on. I'm going to take it off in a second. Yeah, I'm going to peel this in a second. All right, no signal. That's OK. So now let's connect the HDMI cable. Click the adapter. Click. It's in here. So it did react and we have the screen over here now. Here we go. Of course, if we try to use it now, it does not work yet. So let's plug in the USB cable. And let's see how it reacts. Setting up a device, we're setting up WPM USB. Is it done? It, it works. It already works. So I can draw. But I don't think the pressure sensitivity works yet. So let's go to their website, their CD. Let's go to huion.com slash download. Over here, I'm just gonna search. All right, here it is. This one is the same version as this one, and it was released just days ago. So I'm just gonna download the driver. And I guess I'm just gonna keep the default path. I'm just going to agree to the terms. And here we have an icon to Huion tablet. I'm going to complete the installation. And there's the app running. All right, I'm going to give it administrator privileges. And we can set the work area, huh, which interestingly enough, I can use on the smaller screen as well. I can configure the buttons on the pen and what the individual buttons on the tablet do. I'm going to set it to only work on the big screen and apply. In input devices, configure extended input devices, we have Huion tablet eraser and so on. So let's just set these all to screen. And it's working. Pressure sensitivity is now working. Fantastic. All right. Well, this is a weak computer that I'm using, so you can see there is a huge lag when I play around with the settings too much. Now I'm using velocity tampering.
Ah, here we go. Pressure opacity is exactly what I wanted. And it looks exactly the way I wanted it. Yes, these are nice gradients. Yeah, even when drawing these small lines, it lags behind or dots rather, but again, this is probably the computer. I'm gonna now try it out with the more powerful desktop PC instead of this very weak and old, uh, yeah, it's actually a convertible tablet over here. So let me turn it off. Oh, we have these kind of settings here as well. After all, it is a standard monitor. We're gonna look at these later. So I'm just gonna set it up with the desktop computer. So I'm gonna download the driver again. This is me just on huion.com. Let me go to pen tablet, no, pen display. And Canvas Pro 20, well, let's try the 2019 one. And here it is, download. Let's uh, get the driver. Super new. All right, here it is. Let's just extract it. And install it again. Yep, do what you want. I have no painting software on. And I guess I'm gonna change the location this time. Let's just use program files. All right, that was much faster. Okay, here it is, and here's the application. Let's go to work area and set it to only the secondary screen. Apply. Okay, that apply didn't quite work yet. Let's press OK. Still no? Still no. So in this software, I think we have to allow administrator privileges, which I did earlier. Let's press yes. Uh, that was on the other screen. And now if we go to work area, it should allow me to change this. Apply, okay. All right, now it's perfect. Yep, we can draw. Oh yeah, I was totally right. The delay earlier, that was completely because of the computer. This one is much more powerful and there is no more lag. All right, my turn. Uh, hut, tie. Let's go simple. Whoops. What is going on here? What is going on here? Why is it jumping away? All right, let's see if we can play it. No, we cannot play a shooter like that. All right, so let's play some Crayon Deluxe again. Come on now. Yeah, that sure is good. Oh yeah. All right, this should work, yes. one. Ah, finally. All right, as you can see in Photoshop, it works immediately. And I can change the size immediately and the hardness. And the scroll thingy also works. That's good. Nice and straight line. 
dashes work great too. Anyways, I hope this was useful. Give this video a like if it was. And subscribe to the channel if you want to support it. I will see you next time. Until then, ciao!